Hey everyone and welcome back to the studio. Today we have a kind of a special segment on trailer reactions because we wanted to do, you suggested we do a like a throwback Thursday yeah, type trailer. of trailer where we go back in time, back in time like a few years ago and we watch some of the best trailers that had really ever released. They may not be the best movies, but they were some of the better trailers, like trailers that got people really excited, really hyped, the music. Um, hopefully the movies went on to be great, although some of them didn't. Uh, I remember trailers like the Justice League. The trailer that released for that one had me so hyped. And then when I went to go see the movie, it wasn't the Snyder Cut. And it, was, I, it just performed so poorly. Oh. And then on the flip side, you had things like Mad Max. Yeah. Um, and Dark Knight. The Dark Knight, yep, where the trailer was amazing, and then you went in, and the movie was amazing. So, that's what we want to watch today. So, we're going to do a throwback trailer. A throwback, and I chose, because um, we were looking up some of the best trailers of all time, and this one was on the list of best trailers, and it is The Watchmen. So, this right here is my uh, comic version of Watchmen. And so the trailer that we're going to watch is the Zack Snyder adaptation, the Warner Brothers adaptation of Alan Moore's uh, Watchmen comics. So, and I haven't seen the trailer or the movie or the movie. So this is all new for me, even though it's a throwback. <laughs> Do you know like anything about it? No. So this will be new, new. All new. Yeah. Cool. So let's get. We'll watch it. We'll get into it, and yeah, then I'll. Don't give me any spoilers. We'll get into it, and then I'll watch. Uh, I'll. What's it called? I'll explain some of it to you yeah. um, as we go. Let me okay. tap this out of so we can put the trailer on. Okay. All right. Here we go. Watchmen. I'm passionate about this, so. I know you have the book. <laughs> it's a matter of time, I suppose. Jeez. What is from? It's bean One. juice. One of us died tonight. Somebody knows why. Somebody knows. Harry had been working for the government. Maybe it was a political killing. Maybe someone's picking off costumed heroes. John thinks that there's going to be a nuclear war. That's really what if that's why someone wants us out of the way? When did this trailer come out? We can't do anything to stop it. I was in high school. So an like, attack on one is an attack on all of us. 2008, 2005 Watch five or something. Over. What do you suggest we do about it's it? Still pretty good. Retribution. We can save this world. I mean, visually, the trailer is stunning. I yeah. love the colors. actually Rorschach for Halloween. I don't know if you ever seen my Rorschach costume. I don't think I have. I have the Rorschach hat and the mask with the ink. I've never seen you put it on. I don't have any pictures of it. I have it. I think it's in the storage space. Okay. But anyway, so that was Watchmen. So they're superheroes from all They are. So the, worlds. the story takes place during the Cold War uh, with the Soviets. Mm -hmm. So the Soviets in the U.S., are in the middle of this nuclear, potential nuclear, right? So that's kind of the background to the story. But then in the U.S., 
Um, There's a Batman. There was Superman. There are there are superheroes kind of like that. Yeah. Um, so there's like crime, and obviously with crime, there's so imagine like a group of our friends deciding one day, hey, we've had enough of the crime, we're gonna start a superhero association. Oh, they just went together. So and that's kind of what gets started. Yeah, they get started. They were initially called the Crime Busters. So they put this like superhero group together and they go out and they fight crime. And that sounds great, right? That sounds like something like a Batman would do. Maybe even an Iron Man, like people that have uh, the resources to try to put technology things together, yeah. not just costumes. But they didn't have the powers. There wasn't really superpowers. These were just like regular humans putting on their costumes um, using their physical attributes uh, until this guy. Yeah, until you see the blue guy. Dr. Manhattan is his name. Mm -hmm. And he is a physicist, like a nuclear physicist. He has an accident inside of a like a chamber mm -hmm. that's supposed to take like matter apart. And it ends up ripping his body apart. And he somehow is able to reconfigure himself. And he comes back as like this godlike deity oh. he can manipulate objects he can manipulate matter he became he, a real he became like a, a legit and anyway and the premise of the reason why the thing is called watchmen uh well, i don't know the exact reason it's called watchmen but they're called the watchmen and essentially they so imagine like batman right batman is a vigilante mm -hmm. he goes out to fight crime but he is outside of the law yeah so so, so some people, and we and you actually see that in The Dark Knight and in, like, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight. It's, okay, Batman, we, we think of him as a superhero, but really he acts outside of the law. So who gets to watch Batman, right? Who gets to make sure Batman is doesn't go out of line? Yeah. Because Batman isn't technically a cop, so he can do things illegally to try to get the bad guy. Yeah. And at what point... Do is you, it okay? Is it okay? That's what this entire book is about is these superheroes are outside of the law trying to keep order and they're trying to do good. But it's, it, that's why it said who watches the Watchmen. Okay, but who oversees these people to make sure that they're not out of line? Yeah. Because some of the methods that they use to capture bad guys are extreme. Are extreme. Yeah. So the guy with the mask, with yep. the smile, he's one of... Yep, he's one the of super, the... Okay, I thought maybe he was the watchman trying to watch. No, them. he's one of... No, they don't have... There's no one that oversees them. That's kind of what the whole thing is. Like, it it's them against bad guys, but also society as a whole. Kind of A lot of people them. in society are like, we don't want them here. Mm -hmm. We don't want vigilantes. I mean, there's always like, those yeah. people. <laughs> so it's, it's them trying to combat. There are those who don't want us, but evil must be punished. Yeah. Sometimes the cops are inadequate, so we try to come in here and make up the difference. Um, but at what point is it like, hey, they're outside of the law. Mm -hmm. You can't use lawbreakers to enforce the law. Anyway, so there's a lot of that going on. So yeah. all the other ones, they don't have any super powers? No, none of them have. Like they're, they have like physical gifts that are kind of exaggerated. Like they're strong, strong. But, but there really isn't anything... Special. special about them okay. no they don't have anything other than dr manhattan uh none of them really have anything i mean so there's five of them there is uh actually that's a good question at least the ones that you mainly know so you have rorschach there was one that looked like batman I night owl yep so night owl is who you would have seen that kind of looked like batman dr manhattan silk specter and then ozymandias and those are I'm trying to think if I'm missing anyone. Those are the main ones. Okay. There, there were a lot more that, as the years go by, they were killed off. They were arrested. Some were in an insane they just asylum. They just join a group. Life just happens to them. Yeah. And these are sort of the core ones that remain at the end. Um, but anyway, as you can see, like I know the subject very well because I'm I'm very passionate about the book, the novel. It is considered, um, and they had it on the trailer. It's considered. The greatest graphic novel of all time mm -hmm. so uh it it alan moore is hated by some loved by others but in the in the graphic novel in the comic world alan moore is considered to be a genius mm -hmm. um so he did v for vendetta which is another really really big one 
Remember, um, remember. He did Lost Girls, which I also have. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So it's the same creator who did Watchmen. But it's like really, really nice. Yep. Uh, he did The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah. Swamp Thing, which also got an HBO series. Um, it was cut after one season, but... So he... And he did a one of the more famous Batman comics called The Killing Joke. So the dude is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And anyway, back to the trailer. So Zack Snyder adopted the movie for mm -hmm. HBO, for Warner Brothers. It was really hyped. A lot of people were really excited for this. It did not do very well. Really? It didn't do very well. One, because it was a hard R. Like, oh. it, it, it's graphic. It is. Like, yeah. there's a lot of, like... Sometimes nudity, swearing, violence. So it was not a superhero movie for kids. Yeah. So it definitely limited the audience. Um, and then on top of that, it's, it's a really complex story. So I just think there's a lot to try to squeeze into one movie. Then they didn't. And it just didn't perform very well. I, I mean, but you saw the trailer. Like visually, it looks stunning. Yeah. And was it, he able to give his input in the movie? Or he just like gave who, his right, him, the... Al oh, Alan yeah. Moore? Oh, no. He is very anti anyone oh. reproducing his work. Oh. The thing is, he doesn't own his work anymore because he he sold the rights, right? He sold it to... So DC Comics, who uh -huh. makes Batman, they own the Watchmen universe. Oh. Um, so he almost has no say in it. And they... and But not only that, but he, they wanted to give him royalties. Like, hey, you know, you're you're the creator of the story you can get a portion of the money of the sales and he want he wanted none of it he took zero dollars from v for vendetta zero dollars from this um from any of his movies oh, wow. that he probably could have made like the thing is I, i'm pretty sure he's a millionaire regardless yeah but still but he he said i don't want it i i don't agree with the way hollywood is adopting my work well why didn't he what why didn't they give him the option to have a voice in the say of i don't know how he, to create he's them. a weird guy <laughs> He, he's like, he's a weird guy. When, when I say like dungeon wizard, that's what comes to mind. Like this guy, I'll show you a picture of him. He's, he's a strange guy. But like I said, some people consider him uh, a genius. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I would think that you would want your work. <laughs> oh yeah. So you see kind yeah. of, uh, but, oh, he did from hell. I mean, the, the dude has done some of the like some of the best comics that have ever come out but you see he's he's just a very odd guy yeah and he's very i don't know if he actually lives by his um by his philosophies he's almost like very anti like an anarchist anti-government kind of thing mm -hmm. i don't know if that's how he lives his life or not but yeah but he said nope he said hollywood is perverting my work i don't want anything don't put my name on the credits don't give me any money from it and he's held on to that so yeah. um the money he's made i think he's made from selling his work to to comic publishers and stuff like that but yeah so anyway very interesting but you now the movie did not do very well but it's still one a year the do you like the movie i don't know i go back and forth on the movie like visually the movie looked really cool but it was hard to follow it, it, it because was there hard. was a lot to go on. A lot of I think on. it was hard to capture the spirit of the novel. Mm -hmm. um, I think I don't know. I don't know why, but it it just didn't do the novel justice to me. Yeah. Um, I didn't hate it, and I don't mind Zack Snyder. A lot of people don't like some of his work, but it just. I watched it, and I was like. Ah, uh, may maybe it was really hyped for me because I had read the comic. Yeah, you had really high expectations. I think that's what it was. But somebody going in blind like me, you may enjoy it. I yeah, I probably would. Yeah, you, so. you may enjoy it for sure. Anyway, that was Watchmen. I know I went on a rant, but it's just <laughs> there's just a lot around, you know, the the creator. The You're really story. connected to this one. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, but we're gonna do a Throwback Thursdays where we go back and watch. Uh, some of the greatest movie trailers of all time. Um, some that uh, we've seen and some that we haven't. Yeah. It's been a long time. Since, oh, you asked actually when Watchmen had come out, the Watchmen movie, and I I said, oh, 2009. So just just okay. when I was out of high school, I guess. I graduated in 2008. But I remember it was around that time. 
But if you guys have any big trailers or even if it was a big movie, we can watch yeah. the trailer for it. Yeah, some trailer that really stuck let with you know. or something. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, we'll do it on another throwback. Sweet. Catch you on the next one. See ya. Signing off.